We have the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i, one of the best bang for buck laptops on the market. And I'm putting it up against the new guy, the Asus ProArt P16. Now this channel is for creative professionals. So my entire review is going to be focused around the use cases and needs of creators for video editing, graphic design, 3D modeling, Photoshop, digital art, et cetera. Now, when I look at these two devices, I'm really looking at the build quality, usability, as well as the performance. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, first and foremost, looking at the device, we have an aluminum top cover. We have a plastic bottom cover on the Legion Pro 5i and a plastic keyboard deck where we have the aluminum bottom cover and aluminum keyboard deck on the P16. So the build quality on the P16 is going to be a next level comparatively. Now, also keep in mind that we have a little bit of a pricing difference if you're looking at the P16 versus the Legion Pro 5i. Now, keep in mind also that the P16, depending on the model you get, may be a bit more expensive than the Legion Pro 5i. However, the P16 comes in a few variations, just like the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. You can get it in an RTX 4060, RTX 4070. And so you're gonna have some variations in price points. I'll include links in the description below if you wanna check the live pricing. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. Now going ahead and looking at the weight and thickness of these devices, I mean, it is, it's crazy looking at the difference. I mean, you have, I would say over a quarter inch difference between these two devices and definitely a heavier device with the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. But I think a lot of people are truly gonna be considering purchasing between these two, which is why I'm really excited about this review. Now, as I go ahead and I flip the laptop over, you can see that definitely a more gamer vibe on the bottom of the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. However, we have rounded edges around the whole device which I really like. I think it just creates a softer feel when you're holding the device. One thing I've complained about on the P16, which I think I'm really being nitpicky here, is gonna be this 90 degree angle. It's a little on the sharp side. I wish they would have just rounded that off and gave us a more flush design uh, for the P16, but it's not bad. I just don't prefer it. Now flipping these two laptops over, let's go ahead and check out the ports. Going ahead and looking at the left side of the device. On the left side of each device, we have the Lenovo Legion with USB-C, USB-A. For the P16 headphone jack, USB-A, USB-C, HDMI, and the power adapter. No ports on the back side for the P16. For the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i, we have our power adapter, two USB-A, HDMI, network port, and USB-C. Taking the laptops all the way around to the other side, we do have an SD card reader, which is great for creators a USB-A and a USB-C versus the USB-A headphone jack and manual cutoff switch for the webcam for the Legion Pro. So the biggest difference between the Legion Pro and the P16 from a ports perspective is going to be a network port for the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i and an SD card reader for the P16. <clears throat> now, before I get too crazy and carried away, let's go ahead and do an open and close test for these two devices. So go ahead, opens and closes, both of them easily with one hand. They are laptops that do have a nice amount of weight to them. And let's check out the screen bounce. Oh, it's not even a competition. Look how little screen bounce the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i has. Still has some screen flex, still has some screen flex. I would say the screen flex is gonna be the same. Now turning these two laptops around, the trackpad is going to be one of the biggest differences between these two devices. And the reason being is twofold. One, the P16 is a larger trackpad, but on top of that, it has the dial. You can go ahead, turn on the dial and access your brush size, change your brush size by just spinning it inside of Photoshop. You can change the opacity, you can change the hardness. You can also program it to scroll through your timeline. The abilities are endless for the Asus dial. Now, another thing that really sets these two devices apart, the Asus ProArt P16 comes with pen functionality. The Lenovo Legion Pro 5i is not even a touchscreen. Now, it is just a, very much a get dedicated gamer device. We have to keep that in mind. However, a lot of creators do buy these for creative workloads. But the bang for buck on the P16 is actually quite amazing because the price is not out of this world. It is not cheap, but it is not one of the more premium expensive laptops like a Dell XPS 16, like a Razer Blade 16 in the $3,000 plus dollar price point. All of the P16 models come below $3,000, which is fantastic. Finally, creator laptops being more in the budget-friendly range. Now, as I turn these two laptops inward, um, you can see that we have very different keyboard decks. NumPad, which is actually quite advantageous to creators, versus no NumPad, which is shocking because this is a creator-focused laptop. But I will say, it's crazy how much higher the deck is on the 
Lenovo Legion Pro 5i compared to the P16. I'm gonna definitely write some B-roll down for that. Now, as I go ahead and set my hands on these two laptops, the key travel is about the same. It's a medium key travel. I have these nice kind of rounded dipped keys for the Legion Pro 5i, flat key for the P16, large arrow keys for the Legion Pro 5i, smaller arrow keys, they both have full size shift keys. Biggest difference is going to be the numpad, smaller trackpad versus the bigger trackpad and no numpad. Here's a sample of me using both the keyboard and trackpad so you can hear for yourself what they sound like. And also there's upward facing speakers, which are substantially better than the speakers in the Legion Pro 5i. Here's the P16 and the Legion Pro 5i speakers. So you can hear what they sound like for yourself. And finally, the webcam. There is a webcam on each of the top bezels. Here's a sample so you can see and hear for yourself. This is the webcam on the Asus ProArt P16 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. This is a sample of the webcam on the 2024 Lenovo Legion Pro 5 and a little sample of the audio for you as well. Now, one thing to note, we have a plastic bezel around the Legion Pro 5i screen versus the integrated bezel around the P16. We have a glossy display, which you can see my reflection for the glossy display on the P16 versus the matte display on the Legion Pro 5i. I prefer matte displays. They don't appear as sharp and they don't have as rich colors. However, I do not like reflective screens. And so it's something I'm willing to trade because I like a non-reflective screen. Now, while we're speaking of the screens, for the Legion Pro 5i, we have a 2560 by 1600 resolution at 165 Hertz refresh rate. We have a 298 nits of screen brightness for the display I have here on this device with 100% sRGB, 78% Adobe RGB, and 79% DCI-P3 at a Delta E of 1.25. Now keep in mind, you can upgrade this to a 500 nit screen, which also gives you higher Adobe RGB and DCI-P3 color range. So keep that in mind. If you wanna upgrade to the higher screen, you can do that on Lenovo's website. Again, links are in the description below and you can do all that stuff and check that out using those links. Now, for the Asus ProArt P16, we have a 3840 by 2400 resolution at 60 Hertz. It's a 3K display. We have a 498 nits screen brightness, 100% sRGB, 98% Adobe RGB, and 99% DCI-P3 at a Delta E of 1.09. More color accurate, brighter uh, for the models as they come head to head, but there is a higher quality screen available for the Legion Pro 5i, just keep that in mind. Now, while we're talking about the screens, let's talk about the battery life. The P16 gets nine hours of streaming video playback and productivity versus the Legion Pro 5i with the five hours of streaming video playback and productivity. So much more battery life out of the P16. Now keep in mind, both of these laptops were at 20% screen brightness, Windows battery saver mode turned on, and the GPU turned off. That's how we got those results for both of the devices. Now let's go ahead and talk about the upgrade path. That is one area where you have a big advantage from the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. You can upgrade both RAM modules and two M.2 slots. So that means there's a boot drive and an unoccupied M.2 slot. So you can quickly expand your storage in the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i and also swap your RAM versus the P16, which does have two M.2 slots, one boot drive, one unoccupied, but the RAM is soldered to the motherboard. So that provides you with no upgrade path for the RAM. However, there is a 64 gig version of the ProArt P16. So you could go ahead and purchase that, but you could not upgrade. If you purchase the 32 gig version of the P16, you are stuck there. So if you need 64 gigs of RAM, I highly recommend buying that version of the P16. Now, while we're looking at the bottom of these devices, you see the fan configurations while looking at the upgrade path. Okay, now for the thermals, I tested both of these on quiet mode because I wanted to see how they handled keeping the laptops cool and quiet and also maintaining a good export time. For the Asus ProArt P16, 
We had battery power only on whisper mode, four minutes and 42 second export time. It's a nine minute 4K clip, 35 to 40 decibels of fan noise, 62 to 67 degrees Celsius versus the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i with 31 to 35 decibels of fan noise, 45 to 58 degrees Celsius on silent mode, battery power only, three minutes and 15 second export time. So you're gonna get a better export time. It's gonna be a little bit cooler, a little bit quieter from the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i. Okay, now let's go ahead and get into the performance benchmarks. For the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i, we have the i7-14700HX, the RTX 4070, and 16 gigs of RAM. For the ASUS ProArt P16, we have the Ryzen AI9 HX370, the RTX 4070, and 32 gigs of RAM. When it comes to the simulated benchmarks, you can say these laptops are basically neck and neck for both Geekbench and Cinebench, so not a big difference between these two devices. As we get into Photoshop, you can see there's quite a bit of spread, 6,576 out of the Legion versus the P16 with 8,343 on the Photoshop benchmark. As we look at Autodesk 3ds Max, you can see that the P16 has a lead, but in Autodesk Maya, the Legion Pro 5i takes a bit of a step ahead. Looking at PTC Creo, we have the Legion Pro 5i with a 223 versus the 269 out of the P16. So P16 steps it back up. Now going back and looking at SolidWorks, a 118 versus the P16's 100. Now that's not a huge sliding scale, big difference, but the Legion definitely takes a step up in SolidWorks over the P16. Now looking at the 4K export time, two minutes and 14 seconds out of the Legion Pro 5i versus the P16 at two minutes and 29 seconds. 15 second difference, not a huge, huge spread there. Looking at the 6K export, once again, neck and neck, 16 minutes and 34 seconds out of the Legion. P16 has 16 minutes and 57 seconds. Now, what about Premiere Pro Playback? Are we gonna see any big differences there? For Premiere Pro Playback for the P16, zero drop frames for 4K out of the 16,177 in the project. 6K B-RAW, zero drop frames, red K footage, 403. For the Legion Pro 5i, zero drop frames for 4K, but a surprising 327 drop frames for 6K B-RAW and then 553 for 6K red footage. Remember, all of that is out of 16,177 in the project. Now for DaVinci Resolve, DaVinci Resolve export time, 4K, two minutes and 37 seconds out of the Legion Pro 5i, one minute and 57 seconds out of the P16. Punch for punch. I'm gonna go with the P16. You probably could find a better deal somewhere, sometime with the Legion Pro 5i. The reason is it's a more ubiquitous device. There's a lot more in the market. And so they have a lot more sales. However, the P16, if you're a creator, has a lot more going for it. You have a sharper, brighter display. Now, of course, I know you can upgrade this display and the matte display is nice. You have pen compatibility on the P16. You don't have that on Legion Pro 5i. You have the Asus dial, which is actually quite a nice feature to really boost your workflow, especially if you're somebody who works in Photoshop or the Adobe Creator Suite, like Adobe InDesign or Adobe Illustrator. Upward facing speakers is really nice. And I find it quite handy to have the SD card reader. However, if you're somebody looking for a really nice upgrade path, the Legion Pro 5i would be where you wanna go because you can upgrade the RAM. But you could get 64 gigs of RAM from the factory in the ASUS Pro RP16. It's definitely a personal choice because these are two very different devices. But like I said, personally, I would choose the P16. Remember, links are in the description below for ready to make a purchase or click or tap the screen here for more videos to help you with your buying decision. I'll see you in the next one.